Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics and today we're doing something a little bit different. So we're going to be doing a snake feeding not on a Sunday. So what we're going to be doing is our new arrivals, we're going to be trying to give them a feed. So we're going to be giving some rapashi to the crested gecko, we're just going to hand feed that to him. But then we're going to try and feed the royal because she's pooed for me. So that's a good sign to show that she might be hungry. So we're going to be cleaning her out because she did it last night. Cleaning her out, then we're going to be offering her a feed. Then we're going to be bringing a new cabinet in for fossils and crystals. So I'm cleaning all this section out here, and that's where the new cabinet's going to go. Glass cabinet that's going to be having all the crystals and fossils in so we can lock it all away. So it's nice. Because uh, on here, what we don't want is accidental breakage. So if the young kids, no one's paying attention, something like that grabs something, knocks it off. We don't want that to happen. So I might even put little ledges on here so when we put the tanks on, they can't be knocked off. Uh, so that's gonna be another plan. Uh, so please, like, subscribe, comment, share, ring the bell for me. We crack on with those jobos today. And I'll see you in a bit. Whoa. Okay then everybody. Time to see if we can get our Cresty to feed. So we are feeding Rapashi Cresty Gecko Classic. So that's what we're feeding. Got a nice little mixture in there, ready to go. Can we find it? Oh, there he is, right on top. Oh, he's showing his colours a bit today, now he's warmed up. Look at those markings. Doing really well, he is really, really well. So, I'm gonna have to set the camera up a little bit different when we do the feeding so you can get a good zoom on him. Uh, fingers crossed, we're going to do a good feed. But there he is, look at him, super cool little lizard. There he is. Whether he's gonna, st no, he's not gonna stay there. Okay, well, no, stay. No! You gotta eat the rapache. Come back. No. Oh, he's licking it, he's licking. Oh, he's jumping still. Come on, little dude. Come on. There you go. Come on. Oh, he's off. Come here. Come back. Oh, you off again? No. Come on, buddy. Calm down. Calm down. Nice and steady for me. Oh, he's a jumper, he is. Okay, okay, okay. There you go, have a little lick. Yay! Licky lickies. Yay! I did it! He's licking. Oh, he's off. I think that's the best we're going to get. But look at that cool little gecko. Eyelash gecko or crested gecko, as they're usually called. He's a proper little deuce. Oh, he jumped again. He's on tripod. So let's put him back before we lose him. There you go. And we're going to put the rest of this down the bottom of his tub so he can eat the rest when he wants to. Lovely. I put his plant back up. He's got his food, jelly pot, and water. Oh, and it's come on, done again. There we go. I put the crusty back. I sorted all that out. I've also brought the cabinet down. Um, I've cleared out some of the stuff that was down there. What we're going to have to do is work out where we're going to be able to have the shelves. Because um, these ones, we could raise this one up a bit more, raise this one up a bit more, that allows us to have another shelf. Um, so we'll take this shelf out, get the piece of wood out, down there, clean it all around, make sure it's nice and clean. Then we're going to move the cabinet in, then we'll work out where we can put the shelves. And then to finish the day off, we're going to be feeding 
I'm trying to feed this royal who was pooed for me last night, so I'm thinking she's gonna be hungry. Okay, these shelves are really easy to come out. They just have, they have a, an arm like this and a bar that goes across. So as it comes through, it locks in on the, on the, on the beams either side of it. So we just lift it up. We should just be able to slide it out. I have got a wire in the way that might restrict me a little bit. There we go, that's out. We just slide this out now. Easy peasy. Putting them in and getting these bars in can be a different story. It can be a bit more of a pain in the bum. But you might be able to get it. Ah, it's stuck. Ah, okay. I've got another one behind here as well. <laughs> you can see how many I've got stuck. Oh, there we go, that's got it. There's one. I'll leave the other one down there. We don't need it at the moment. Let's pull that out. Laura's learner plate, <laughs> and we got this out. Oh, no spideys. Ah, oh, there's one, one spidey. I was expecting more. You normally have a collection of spideys underneath there. Okay. So I'll give it a quick sweep, and then we'll move the new cabinet in. I'm gonna start pulling the new one in. I've twisted it around, I've got it just the way I want it. We should just be able to slide it in place. I think it's going to fit. I've measured nothing. I've gone all by the eye. So if it don't fit, I need new eyes. That's basically it. So I'm usually good at guessing if it's going to fit or not. It looks like it's going to fit. Whether it does or not, we don't know. But I might have to move this because I can't move this. Well, this might have to move along if we can't. But let's pull it in. Ooh. I need more room, my bum's too big. My bum's got too much junk in the trunk, Alex has too much junk in the trunk. Move this out of the way for a sec, there we go. Pull, 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 pull. Pull, 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 there we go. <laughs> and then pull, pull, lift. Okay, we're not too shabby, we're not too shabby. You see you've got nice glass shelves, mirror on the back as well. Uh, pull, pull, twist. Oh, like a glove. Okay, so there is extension to the back. I've got to watch out for. I should have moved that beforehand. Let's see if I can flick it out the way. Fantastic, fantastic. So we want to do another slide back. Okay, keeping it square if we can. Keeping all the feet on where we want to keep them. Oh, okay. Okay, back a bit more. Back a bit more. And we're in. Should we go this way a bit? Can we go a bit that way, can we? Ah, okay. And another bit of bamboo. Oh, it won't let me go that way a bit. Why not? Yeah. Are we stuck? Are we stuck up? Uh, that was it. That was it. That went. That went. I'm trying to get it even. He wants to go too far over the way. I'm happy with that. That ain't too bad. That goes there. That goes there. And we've got a nice glass cabinet to put all our crystals and fossils in. So we don't get any breakages and we have nothing going missing. Look at that. So now, that's not enough room to have a shelf. So what we're gonna have to do is either raise these up or lower them down and add another shelf. Um, so we take all these off. We see if we can get three shelves on there. We know here, I've got at least two squares. One two see so we can raise this up two two squares and still have plenty of room you gotta remember we can't go too high because Laura's not a giant so it's like plenty of room but not go too crazy high because she won't be able to do it so we've got to think of everything we have 
So that's the millipede, the scorpion, and the Pac-Man frog moved. We know now we can come up to, so one, two, we can come up to here. Let's see if we can pop it out, keep it here, and then slot it back in where we want to, because otherwise, if I drop it, we can be in a world of troubles. Uh, I've got it, okay. Yeah, I've got it, I've got it in my hand, okay. Wiggle this out. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Come on, baby. Oh, okay. Luckily, I remembered where we were. And we should just, oh, so I did that hole. We should just be able to go this one. Right there. Follow it along, that one there. Okay. Slide the bar back. That's in, that's in, okay. I think that's higher than what it was. Let's put one on, see what it looks like. Do the one without an animal. We've only moved up one square. I didn't mark much, no, I didn't mock it up very well. I'll do a redo, but I won't film it because you've already seen me do it. I think we're good now. That, the, the next one went really easy, really easy. We should be just right now. Yeah, we've still got extra space, which is good. So, we could try raising this one up too again. See if that gives us enough for another shelf. Well, we can still sit on top of there. It's not the end of the world. We can still put stuff on there, uh, but we would need the space to do it. I don't think an ex uh, a fanarium would do it. Where's the, where's the empty one? They fit on there anyway. I do that. So we put this one up too anyway to give us space and that gives us six slots for fanariums. Put it all in. I've even put fossils and crystals in there so you get an idea of what it's going to be like. It's going to look good, isn't it? All full of crystals and fossils. Nicely tucked away. No one can accidentally knock into them. Uh, we can lock it up if I put a viv lock on there. So I'm happy with that, we've got uh, space for six fanariums, so we can have bigger stuff on there, then we can have more tubs at the top, we've got plenty of room for stuff in, the, uh, in those ones, uh, then we can do uh, mantises on these shelves with some plants, and then once all that's finished, we're then going to advance into the plant system, build a new plant system. So that's going to be really, really, we could be ordering new plants anyway because I've got to do uh, bioactive tanks and stuff like that. So that's going to be quite interesting for us to do. So that's all done. Our next job, oh, feed the new snake. Finally, snake feeding time. Will she feed? Give us a guess. See what you think she's going to do. If she's going to feed or she's not going to feed. That is the question. Oh, 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 so we've got a nice mouse though. Whether she feeds, we will not know. We can't, we're gonna have to leave the poo in here for, for at least after the feed. <sighs> okay, so there she is in her lovely little hide. You see anything? Nobody's come out yet. Come on. I haven't seen any movement yet. Okay. Good these are, they've got little. Oh, 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 okay. Yes, yes, yes. That was a strike. Oh, yes, baby. She's been in for two days now. Having a feed within two days is amazing. Look at that. I knew she would because she's pooed there and she's got poo at the back corner. She must have pooed last night. It's made her nice and hungry today. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> so she will be able to go to her forever home probably Tuesday. Um, because we don't want to move her 
tomorrow because she's fed. Uh, so, say Tuesday. Of course, we closed on Monday. Uh, so Tuesday, she'll be able to go to a forever home. What, what, what brilliant news. Absolutely fantastic. I can't believe that she's fed now. I was really, really nervous thinking, well, no, we saved it till the end of the video and she's not going to feed. But, boom, she's fed for us. Boom, boom, boom. There we go, everybody. That's all the time I got for today. We're locked up and we're going home. So please look, subscribe, comment, share, ring the bell for me. If you want to watch a new video, there should be one there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it's up there. If you want to play a list, it's up there. Apart from that, see you in the future. Bye.